All right, I'm gonna try to make this video really quick. But right here we have the fast snail charging dock as well as some Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. So we're gonna be reviewing this one in this video right here. And then I'll just do an unboxing of this as well, just to make it combined in the video. Maybe I'll do two, I don't know. First, we're gonna start off with the Joy-Cons because why not? I got the purple and orange ones, neon purple technically and neon orange. So let's go ahead and just get into it. They do have new ones coming out soon, but I don't want to wait. So got these for now. And of course, Joy-Cons have to be super expensive. So these are 80 bucks, pretty sure. So this comes with the left, right, the straps for both of them. And that's it, no user manual. A lot of plastic though. Typical Nintendo, one strap, two strap. Oh, more plastic, of course. Bro, Nintendo loves plastic. I mean, I like the bubble wrap, but the plastic, unnecessary. All right, so these are what they look like. We're gonna look at the purple one first. All right, so this is what it looks like, as you can see. Take a look at the controller. So, got the buttons, left and right triggers, eject button. Really simple, straightforward. This one is a nice, vibrant color. I like this one a lot more. And then, yeah, so this is a darker color, and this is like an actual neon bright orange I like this one more so that's pretty much that really simple straightforward and then we have the charging dock now my switch came with the blue and red ones if you haven't seen the unboxing i'll throw a video up a little card so you can watch that highly recommend it yeah now we have four controllers let's go ahead and unbox this part so we got this open now this one obviously really good reviews it has leds as well so charging indicators to help you know manage the charge I guess cycle so here it is pretty simple it comes with the type c cable I believe let's see yep USB type c to USB a so you can put this on your switch dock on the side of it or on the inside and then right here we have the actual stand so it's made out of a polycarbonate it's a gloss polycarbonate finish the controllers sit on like this so these little indents on the front just put it in like that that's how it's charged and then you also have the input right here for the power the bottom just has some information this one is five volt one amp i mean the controllers themselves don't really take that much to power or charge so it's going to be good for the most part so let's go ahead and get a power bank real quick and then we're going to show you how to turn basically how they turn on so got a power bank here and plug it into the power port instantly turns green as you can see really good angle you can noticeably, noticeably see that, and if it's on a stand or table, you'll be able to automatically see that. I don't know if this has an on and off switch. I've seen one that has an on and off switch. This one doesn't look like it has it. Let's go ahead and uh, put this in here. I guess do it like that. Yep, it's red. And then put the pink, the purple one, like that, and it's red. And then you can put the other ones. Say you had four. You can put your other one right here on the back side, just like that. Very simple, straightforward, really good product. Um, obviously they will charge. Once they're fully charged, they'll turn green. Uh, I wish there was a on and off switch. Like I said, there was another one that I've seen on YouTube that had an on and off switch. I guess this is not the right one. And this one apparently it does hold it in place kind of good. Kind of fell out as you can see. Uh, so don't shake it obviously, but it definitely stays in there a decent amount. They don't have like a click to it or anything. They just stay in. Uh, without further ado, so this is the product here by Fastnail. You can get it for 15 bucks. They're, they also have one from uh, like PDP I've tried out. It's really good build quality. Fastnail, 15 bucks, less than 15 bucks actually. I got like 10% off as well. So usually these go on sale a lot uh, and I highly recommend you guys check it out. If you're an Nintendo Switch player or you're thinking about getting a Switch, get one of these and then get some extra Joy-Cons so you can have four. And then I also have the, um, I just got the Mario Party. So that's why I got two extra Joy-Cons so you can put four people since you need Joy-Cons to play that game. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.